First part of this week has certainly been a little hectic. A little bit, yeah. yeah. But for many, the weekend can't get here soon enough. And there's a great escape that is starting Friday. ABC 7's Linda Carson is here with In the Spotlight. Linda. Nothing is more relaxing than a walk on the beach, and nothing is more amazing than the sculptures that will be springing up on Siesta Key this weekend. In the Spotlight, the Siesta Key Crystal Classic International Sand Sculpting Festival. Local sand sculptor Brian Wigglesworth started the Siesta Crystal Classic seven years ago. The Siesta Key Crystal Classic is a master class sand sculpting competition. It's an international sand festival. Uh, we, we bring the best sculptors from all over the world to uh, come here and sculpt for four days, creating sculptures eight to ten feet high. They're free to create anything they can dream up, almost. We don't limit them in any way except to see it has to be family friendly. We like to avoid politics, we like to avoid religion, we like to keep it, you know, welcome to everyone. World-class sand sculptor Paul Huggard from the United Kingdom won't reveal much about his entry. I'm going to be making a, a, a piece entitled Family, and that's all I can say right now because I don't want to give anything away to my competitors. Because they're competing for $15,000 in prizes, but it's not so much the prizes as the special Siesta Key sand that brings all of these world-class oh, yeah. sand sculptors here. This sand is very beautiful. This is uh, quartz uh, sand, and that sand is, uh, is, uh, is a different type of sand, but this is very special sand. This is uh, probably the best sand in the world. The Crystal Classic has a new attraction for children this this year called the learning curve. Children love sand, but they really don't know anything about sand. And the learning curve, uh, twice on Saturday and twice on Sunday, we will have children actually taking lessons, but having fun learning all about sand from all around the world, but in particular, learning why the Siesta Beach sand is so spectacular and unique. And there'll be live music again this year, but with something new. We've got the huge tent that will hook up to the stage so people can sit in comfort and not be baked by the sun all the time. The sand creations will be in place through next Tuesday. Then they'll be torn down. But the sculptors say that's OK. We're kind of used to the ephemeral art aspect of this. Um, we like to akin it to uh, Thanksgiving dinner. You work all day on that dinner, hours of preparation, and it's gone in about 15, 20 minutes, but everybody's happy afterwards. The Siesta Key Crystal Classic Sand Sculpting Festival starts on Friday, and it opens every morning at 10 a.m., Friday through Tuesday. And, Bob, it looks like you've got good weather for it. Yeah, good weather. I'm usually there at the end uh, giving out the awards. It's a great, great time out there. And also the Chalk Festival going on right. as well in Venice. That's always a big mm -hmm. event. That starts on Friday, too. So there's lots of going on. We have the parade on Friday for the veterans. Uh, weather yep. looking good. You know, it can be dicey this time of year sometimes, it but can. November typically one of the best months. I think so, yeah. yeah. All right, Bob, thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. World News Tonight with David Muir is next. We'll see you tonight at 11. Have a great evening.